The grace of theosis is not made known by lessons, but through purity. St. Gregory Palamas. I know this is a topic I keep bringing up over and over again. Gnosis, catechesis, and theosis are <clears throat> cornerstones, hallmarks, um, <clears throat> uh, mile markers, benchmarks, however, however you want to say it, to the faith. Um, and that's through the faith. That is through the whole faith. It doesn't matter what denomination it is of Christianity, there's always going to be those points to where the grace of theosis is just is just there. And that is usually reserved for, it's usually, it is reserved for the saints. Theosis is reserved for those who have made those lessons known through purity, spiritual teaching, spiritual practice, spiritual law, and what God provides through his his energies and another thing that that is just so awesome about what saint gregory brought to the table is the essence and energies discussion and this whole concept of theosis and making it known that those lessons are valuable and do have <clears throat> the the lessons of that purity coming through as something through a grace like theosis and that grace is obviously acquired that grace obviously comes through the virtues like patience like practice and applying it to things that are important such as the commandments and god's law um and making it known that it reverberates with us like in the previous one i talked about the communion with god and that is just the communion is continual continual even though um there's a hypostatic union between god and his his followers there also is <clears throat> making that grace known and making that grace something to achieve and through those lessons that is how we learn that through that purity those that's how it is acquired and that's how it becomes in not only a state of being but in a state of knowing and with that grace the theosis is attained <clears throat>